Upper frame is the name of the exo armors that you get in the game. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them, and they have crazy wacky powers, but the way we like to think of it is uh, you're a space ninja. You have a machine gun and a sword and a crazy power suit, and you can do crazy awesome stuff with your friends, one to four players, coming uh, to PC this fall. I found the name Warframe in like some 1950s Boeing research about like World War II soldiers having exoskeleton. Uh, so it's an exoskeleton armor, but kind of reimagined for our weird sci-fi fiction that we're doing. It's like a suit of armor mixed with a katana. We had um, another game concept that we were working on and uh, we decided to try this because we thought there might be some built-in recognition from it. That was an art style and a setting that we developed and we worked on for a long time and uh, we had to put it you know, on ice, so to speak, because um, how this game, I, I think it's Call of Duty or something like that, came out and everyone wanted World War II shooter. So they're like, can you set it in World War I maybe? Or can you give the character like an eye patch and make him sort of like Chicago? So we kind of killed that idea um, and uh, moved on to something else. Now we're going back to some of those ideas and uh, the, the context of the game has changed. Before it was going to be kind of a single player console game and now it has been reimagined as a co-op multiplayer game in this kind of like MMO light persistent universe that's kind of evolving and changing as you play. Um, which I think is really awesome because the one thing I've learned um, and how it pertains to the original idea is that the best stories are the player stories and not the stories that we impose on players. Had we made that game back then, we would have been shoveling in your mouth the cutscenes um, and telling you how to feel. Um, with this one, uh, we're trying to create situations where the players are pulling out the fiction if they want and then creating their own stories. And then we're trying to build a, a system where those stories can be shared with other players. And so now it's, it's kind of like, for me, that I've, I've been in the industry for quite a while, for you know, 15 years almost. So now it's like I just got my job again and I have like butterflies in my stomach when I come to work and I look at the new builds. So I was absolutely relieved when people said, oh my god, it's the old concept, awesome. Thank God they didn't say, oh my God, so what concept, die in a fire. So that worked out pretty well. My favorite Warframe is Smoke. Smoke used to be called Ninja. We renamed it like five minutes ago. For beta, we're going to have eight. And there's lots of other cool ones. Loki's cool. He can like switch teleport. So if you were there and I was here, like, like for example, that's happening right now, I could switch, you would be sitting here in the camera and, and I'd be there. There's three factions in the game. There's the Grenier, which are the main bad guys, and then their Corpus, which have these like killer robotic machines that come after you, and then there's the other one, which is kind of secret right now. Uh, like any good uh, anime, you can definitely kill a robot with a sword if it's made of like carbon monofibers. I just made that up. I don't know if there are anything like monofibers. You will master the Warframes. You will strike when they least expect it. With powers they could never have imagined. <laughs>